Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today we're gonna to take a look at the double tap strategy on a crapless craps table. So there's a lot of numbers to cover, but every roll of the dice we win, except for, yeah, Big Red. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's test it out. We're gonna go ahead and look at the double tap strategy made famous by Casino Quest on a crapless table. So we're gonna actually do it with all the numbers. So let me just recap how it works on a typical table, maybe you cover the four through 10 or the six through nine, but you're looking to double tap or tap a number twice and then regress. So let's say the five rolls, our $10 is gonna get paid 14. We're actually gonna throw in $1 and power press it and take this bet up to 25. A any numbers we're gonna power press, up. here we're power press, out here these numbers pay so well, we don't have to power press, we can just take it up to a quarter level and, and we're in good shape. But let's say here, we've power pressed, we're up at 25. The next hit, we get paid 35. Now we're going to go back. If we have any numbers back, we're gonna regress back down to the original bet and collect the rest. That's really all there is to the double tap. You're basically pressing the number up and then trying to double tap it or hit it for a second time. But we're gonna have a little fun and try to cross all of the numbers and see what happens. All right, I have my son again with me and he is going to try the double tap on the crapless table with a $500 bankroll. It's probably very light because what we're gonna do is gonna cost us $108 to go across all the numbers. A little more if you're gonna play the pass line. We're not gonna worry about the pass line. We're just going to assume someone else is shooting. So let's go ahead. Well, you can make the bets and turn your, have them working for the come out. We're just going to roll it natural, get a point established and we'll go from there. So pick two dice send them on their way and let's get a point established. Nine, nine's gonna be our point. And again, we don't care about that so much. We're gonna cover all the numbers. So $108. It's gonna give me 110. I'm gonna give them two and change and that'll be enough to cover all the numbers. 10, 20, 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm missing a few here. 90, 100, 104, and 108. Got all the numbers covered and we're ready to go. So again, first hit, we're gonna, these numbers we power press. These numbers, they pay so good, we, we could just press them up with the, with the hit. So let's see what happens. Here we go, trying the double tap on crapless across all the numbers. 12, midnight, there's a fun one for us. So we're gonna make a little money here. So $10 is actually gonna get paid $55. So we're just going to press that right up to a quarter. We're gonna buy it. And you always wanna buy these outside numbers just like the four and 10 as soon as you can. So we'll buy that at 25 and we're actually gonna pull back 30, $45. And hey, we're, we're well on our way to covering our bets here. All right, shooter, here we go. Five, no field five. All right, 10 is going to pay 14. So in this case on the five, throw me a dollar. We're gonna power press this, which means you're gonna add more money. But now we have $25 here, so we can make this go green. And we're now we'll try to double tap and hit that guy. All right, Let's see what happens here. So we've invested an extra dollar, not a big deal. Eight, eight the hard way, eight hard. 12 is gonna pay 14. Now 14 plus uh, 12, 26. I need four more dollars. So we're gonna invest a little more to power press this up to 30. He's gonna give me five, I'm gonna give him a dollar back and that is enough for a $30 bet on the eight. And if we can hit one of these numbers, we'll regress all of the numbers back down. All right, here we go. The math's a little different to cover all these outside, but go ahead. Two, oh, a beautiful one. Two down there on the other end, and that's what's fun about crapless. Not great bets as far as house edge. Not bad when you buy them, but uh, yeah, the house edge, I believe it's like over 6% and over 7% for place bets. But when you hit it, it sure does pay nice. So this is going to pay 55, and we're just going to return all this, and we're gonna buy this 
at a quarter. I may have overpaid last time because I think I... You gave me 45. Yeah, 45, and you should only get 40, but... All right, dealer mistake is uh, you're, you're winning, I guess. All right, and here we go. So we pulled some money off of that and still has got a great bet. Seven, all right. So I don't think we, I don't think we double tapped anything. So we probably lost a little bit. It was close though with these, these big numbers. So let's pull these guys down and we'll start over again. All right, puck is gonna go off. We're gonna have a new shooter and we'll see what this new shooter can do. All right, shooter, pick two lucky dice, send them all their way. Let's get a point established. Let's see what happens. And again, we're assuming someone else is shooting. Dice off the table, no roll. I'm gonna get him the same die. Yo, 11, 11 is gonna be our point. So anyway, yeah, I was, we're not gonna play the pass line. We'll assume someone else is shooting. Um, otherwise you do need that pass line. All right, so 108 to cover all the numbers. It's giving me 110. I'm gonna give him two and change. And let's get these set up. All right, I already tried to be quicker and I just made a mess of it. Again, shorted me one. All right, get the caps on the six and eight and the three and 11. These guys pay 11 to four typically. That's why you want it in increments of four. So to meet minimum table limit, we're at 12. And we are set up and ready to try to double tap some numbers. Let's see, shooter. Yo, 11 point hit. My dice rolled there, but it wasn't 11. So 12 is going to pay 33 and this one pays so good we don't have to power press so what we'll do we'll just go ahead take this to a quarter and buy it and we'll actually what do we have here twenty dollars going back to the player so that's a nice deal all right puck is going to go off our bets are off and we'll have that shooter get another point established Eight, eight easy, eight's gonna be our point. So our bets were off. You could override that if you like, but they're all working now. So let's roll some numbers. Any number will do, anything but big red, because we've got all of our numbers covered. Eight, point hit again, all right, he's hitting points. All right, 12 is gonna pay 14. Now to double tap this one, we wanna get it to 30. So go ahead, I'm short $4, so give, go ahead and give me $4. And that is going to be enough to take this to a $30 bet. That was our point hit, so it's going to go off. So we've got to come out again. All right, shooter, set a new point. So we're kind of wasting rolls here, but that's okay. Nine, center field nine. So nine's our new point. Our bets are working. And let's roll some numbers and see what happens. Dice off the table, no roll. He's gonna throw it in and they inspect it, make sure there's no, it's the same serial number, there's no extra damage to it. And they'll let you put it back in play if you ask for the same die. All right, here we go. Six the hard way, six hard. All right, roll numbers, just not repeat anything yet. So 12 is gonna pay 14. And again, I need, drop me four more dollars to power press this guy. So again, we're investing a little more money on these inside numbers, but hopefully it pays off. So we'll take that to a $30 level. So let's six, eight or 11 would be nice. Really any of the outside numbers would be real nice. Eight, all right, so there's our, our number here. So 30 is going to pay 35 and typically you can consider these almost like two separate games. So we can regress everything or we can just regress the inside. I think I'll want to just let the outside play and we'll do like the normal double tap for the inside. So we'll get paid 30 and we're going to regress the inside down. So I need um, 24. So I'm going to return this. 
I'm going to keep 25, give another dollar to the player. So he's going to get 50, 71, and he's going to, I'm going to set these bets back up at 12. So good score. His bets are paid for, at least for the inside, and we're in good shape. So the outside numbers, because we collect so much, I think I'll just kind of press and regress them. So we'll, we'll play it like that. Kind of making the strategy up as I go along. Here we go. Eight, eight the hard way. Some people will say, well, that's why you never regress, but you never know either. Just as easily or more likely could have been the bad number. All right, 12, yep, go ahead and drop me $4. I'm gonna give you a dollar change and that's enough to take this up to 30. And here we go, shooter. Five. All right, I think that's the first time we've seen that five. 10 is gonna pay 14. Go ahead and drop me $1 and we'll press this up to 25. A little power press and here we go. Eight, eight easy. All right, we've got a number pressed up. So again, 30 is going to pay 35. Nice thing about this is I can pull these numbers down, regress these guys down and we'll go I need uh, 22, so I'm gonna just take a green from you, give you three and change. So 50, 65, 68 coming back to the player. And he's set right back up on his numbers. Really, after you've regressed once, you could just press to the moon because you've kind of collected your money, but we need to collect a little more to kind of cover these outside numbers. So. I think we're doing okay. All right, shooter. It's a long roll. It's a yo, yo 11. Hey, that's a good one. All right, so a buy bet is gonna pay true odds. So it's gonna take a dollar VIG. So I need a dollar from you. So go ahead and drop me a dollar, but it's gonna pay three to one or three green for every $1 bet. So out goes 75. Now you could regress these guys down if you want. I mean, it pays so well. I, I, I hate to regress it. I'm just gonna collect on these, on these outside numbers and let it, let it play. So here we go, Let's see what happens. I mean, you're only gonna regress it down and get $15 more dollars where if you hit again, hey, it's huge. All right, here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. All right, looks good to me. We'll send it back out. Keep it on the field of play, sir. Here we go. Five, there's that five. Oh, I forgot we already regressed that down. So we're gonna win 14. Go ahead and drop me a dollar. It's gonna be enough to take us to 25. And we'll see what happens. Here we go. Six, easy six. 12 is gonna pay 14, so go ahead and drop me $4, which will be enough, gives me a five, I'm gonna give a dollar back, that'll be enough to take us up to a $30 bet. We're trying to get to that green level. And the next hit we regress down, here we go. 10, 10 the easy way. So out here, 10 is going to pay 18 as a place bet, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use that uh, to make it a $25 buy bet. And I'll actually send three out to the player. And here we go. So you don't have to power press these outside numbers. because so they just, they pay so well. For the hard way, same situation, four and 10 are sister numbers. So 10 is gonna pay 18. We're gonna press this to a quarter. Here at my casino, we do the VIG only on the win. So three out to the player and we're ready to go. Got some, a lot of good numbers to hit. Shooter, let's see if we can double tap one of them. Four, there it is, right back for the easy way this time. So it's gonna take a dollar VIG, so go ahead and drop me a dollar and I'm gonna pay out 50 for one. So it pays two to one here. And again, that one pays so good. I'm just gonna leave it. Normally I, I might wanna regress, but uh, it pays really well. So we might just leave it. Again, it's up to you if you feel more conservative. 
We've got all this extra money up here. You could request them down, but let's go for the big roll. Let's go for the big win. We should have enough money that our bets are paid for. Let's see what happens. Six, six easy. Let's keep the roll going. So 30 is going to pay 35. And here it's a kind of decision. Do we want to regress them down? Keep them up? I don't know. I think at this point, I might just start becoming a $25 player and, uh, and go from there. I don't think we need a double tap anymore. I think we could just collect our money. What do you think? I like it. You like it? All right, a little more aggression. Ten, uh, there you go, same situation. So this is gonna pay 50 for the $1 VIG. So go ahead and drop me a dollar. And this is the nice thing about having green is you're gonna get paid in green. So $50 win there. Can we buy the three? You can. So if you wanna press that up, um, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, it's not quite following the strategy because we haven't rolled it, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let you deviate a little bit. So I'm gonna return that to you just take a quarter and buy it. So in this case, we got 38 back. The strategy relies on you hitting numbers um, so, and double tapping. This one hasn't hit, so we don't increase it, right? That's just kind of the name of the, name of the game, name of the strategy here. Hey, look at that. He's a genius and I'm an idiot, right? All right, so again, three to one. It only takes a dollar vig to pay for it, so drop me a dollar. I gotta actually grab green, and I'm gonna pay you three to one or $75. Genius. All right, here we go, shooter, same shooter. Roll with numbers. 10 the hard way, 10 hard. And we are technically kind of out of the strategy because uh, we're not necessarily having to double tap and then regress down. So again, the VIG is going to cost you a dollar, but I'm going to pay you 50 for one if you drop me a dollar. Yep. And it is nice to make green. So let's see how long this roll lasts. Eight, eight easy. I don't think that's a press number. So we got 24 or 12. It's going to pay out 14. Go ahead and drop me $4. Yep, that's going to be enough to take us to 30. So we got another number at the green level. Green better here. Let's keep the roll going. 10, 10 the hard way. We're starting to hit them 10s. All right, drop me a dollar for the VIG. VIG on the win. I'm going to pay you out 50. Not a bad deal, huh? Nine, and he could if he wanted to press other numbers and that sort of thing. So that fi we finally hit our point. So that's gonna pay 14. Go ahead and drop me $1. That'll get us up to the green level for the nine. I'll take that to 25. That was our point. So the puck's gonna come off. Our uh, puck's off, our bets are off by default. So unless we tell the dealer to work them, they're off for this first roll on the come out. So here we go. Let's get a new point established. Let's see what happens. Dice off the table, no roll. I'll get you the same die, I think. It's been a hot die, if I can find it. All right, I found it. I'll send them out to you. Still looking for the point. Here we go. Six the hard way, six hard. My dice rolled there, but it was a six. So that's gonna be our new point. Let's see, we got everything at green except for Oh, we're beautiful, two and 12, and those are so hard to hit. We don't even need those at green because they pay 55, so they pay two greens. All right, here we go. Nine. All right, oh, I'm out of green. I've been paying him so much. 25, it's gonna pay 35. And yeah, at this point, whatever you wanna start doing at this point, I mean, we're at green. You can keep collecting greens. You, you can start pressing up. You could pull down numbers. I'm going to let you go from here. I think people kind of understand the strategy a little bit. I'm just going to keep collecting. Just keep collecting green. Not a bad way to do it. Just keep the dice rolling. 
The nice thing about this, every number is a winner, except for the one. All right, 30 is going to pay 35. Again, another green. Point hit, so the puck's going to come off. Here we go, coming out, looking for a new point. Eight, eight easy. All right, points eight. Puck's on, our bets are on. Let's roll some numbers, collect some green. Basically, every time we roll a number, we're collecting green. In this case, we're going to win a couple. So a $10 bet is going to pay 55. We could press it if you want, but I mean, you're collecting greens. I don't know. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Can we press the two and the 12? Sure. So I'm going to give you these guys back. So 25 back. And now we're going to buy the two and 12. It means one so much that not a bad way to go about it. A little aggressive, but it's going to pay really fun. It's going to pay six to one. So $150 for a $1 VIG. And seven, the end of the roll. You know it had to happen at some point. All right, so down come our bets. 100, two, yeah, 260 up here. That's okay, I think he did all right. Um, I think we'll give it, what do you want to do? Let's see how much time. Let's give it one more try. The roll was so good that we kind of got out of the strategy early. So if we do another roll, we'll kind of show the strategy a little bit again. Let's go ahead, get a point set, and we'll go from there. Good roll though. Six, six easy is gonna be our point. So let's go 108 across. Drop, give me 110. I'm going to give him two and change. Oh. Short or red. There we go. And 104, 108. We are set up and ready to roll some numbers and see if we can double tap and repeat any numbers. All right, shooter. Anything but big red. Eight, eight easy. Dice rolled there, but it was an eight. So 12 is gonna pay 14. You see he's already getting his money. We need $4 to power press this guy up to the green level. We'll have a $30 bet, and that's the one we wanna hit. All right, shooter. Five, no field five. So 10 is gonna pay 14. In this case, I need $1 to power press it. In that case, he's going to give me five. I'm going to give him four and change. And this is $25. We're up to the green level on that. And here we go. Eight. All right. Here we got our double tap. So 30 is going to pay 35. And I'm going to bring at least the inside down. So let's go ahead and go. We need uh, 22. So I'm going to keep one green. Give you three and change, so 50, 65, 68 out to you. And I can set this up. So we'll, we'll do that a couple times. The outside, they just kind of pay for themselves. All right, here we go. But as far as the inside numbers, they're paid for. Here we go. Nine, all right. 10 is going to pay 14. Go ahead and drop me $1 to take this up to the green level. And let's see if you can hit it. Here we go. Trying to double tap. Nope, not going to happen this time. There's the seven. So we probably, we, I, well, I know we didn't make any money because we only won 60 some and it cost us 108. But hey, not too bad because we had that big roll. So let's go ahead and we'll count it up there, end it there and see where we're at. Let's go ahead and hand me your chips here. Whoa. It's all right, got so many, can't even handle them. All right, let's start with the green here. We've got one, what are we buying for? Five, Five. two, three, four, there's our buy-in, so we got profit. Let me just uh, stack those up. 
We're buying over there. Now we just look at profit. So one, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, 320, 325, uh, 350, 375, 400, and 415, 420, 421 is our profit. So 921 total. So let me go ahead and color that up. Let's see. Got a purple, so 500, nine, and I guess we'll, we'll take it from here, 921. So 421 profit, not too bad, eh? All right, so there is the double tap strategy on a crapless table. It's kind of modified a little bit, but a lot of fun when every roll, as long as you could avoid big red, every roll is gonna be a winner. So let me know what you think, and until next time, good luck on coloring up.